A man doesn't want to get married just to watch his wife showcase herself to other men as if she's single by wearing revealing clothes. This is exactly what Kiki Parma's husband had to go through at a Usher concert and he's forced to deal with it. Nor do you want to be a woman who have high standards and you get on a game show and you try to push your standards onto a man just to get rejected can be very embarrassing. You know my type. The same as a woman catching her husband with another woman and he completely ignores the wife and the kids in front of everyone and gives the glory to the side chick. That's what you've been sending money to? These are the type of videos that we are going to be reacting to today. But before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. Let's get to it. Kiki Parma husbands, Darius Dalton, tweeted out, We live in a generation where men of the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and get told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I actually feel sorry for the guy because if you simp your way into the relationship, then you will be forced to be a simp in the relationship. The thing that men have to understand is the same way you get your woman would be the same way that you lose her. Women who are constantly advertising themselves for other guys, real men see the play and they back up away from this type of woman because they can see how mentally destructive it can be down the road. But when you have a desperate man in desperate situation who think he's getting a prize, when he gets a woman who's advertising herself and he starts to showcase that he loves her, he's anticipating that this woman turns around and have morality because she has a man to love her. When in reality, no. If you get a woman who is already addicted to the fame and she's addicted to the attention, there's no way you're going to be able to change her in a relationship because when a woman is like that, then she's suffering from deep insecurity. What does that mean? That means these type of women will only, only be in relationships with simps and desperate men just so they can get away with it. In his situation, him and her just has a child and he's hoping that she changed, not realizing. No, the child is just a prop. You're just a prop. Women live in themes. You should have paid attention to what she was doing to what she was doing before you met her. When she's for the streets, she's for the streets. You get caught up with a girl for the streets and you try to turn her into a housewife. It's like taking an alley cat, trying to make it a house cat. At some point, it's going to mess up your household. The next video is a lovely young lady who decides to go on a game show, pressure her standards onto a man just to get rejected. Let's get to it. Turn for this guy. Sorry? Who? Mr. Oh, Raina. Uh-huh. Sasa. Wapo. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Let me just ask you. Uh -uh. uh -uh. I know you will say I have a problem anyway. Uh -uh. With the uh -uh. let me just ask this guy a question. This guy, this guy, okay, Larry, whatever your name is, can you maintain me? Can you maintain me? You know my type. Sorry. I don't even wish to be your type. Women love to pressure their standards onto a man as if a man has to treat them like a queen. When in reality, the harder you have to work for a woman, the lower her self-esteem is. When women come across the type of guy that they like, they automatically fall into feminine frame. All the tough woman, Miss Independent, and I don't need a man, that completely goes out the door when she meets the guy that she likes. When women are constantly coming across the guys that they do not like, 
like, they're going to have these standards. And they're thinking all men are the same. So I can press these standards onto men and see how they react to it. Not every guy wants the same woman. Not every guy is attracted to the same woman. But women rely on creepy, desperate men to give them an ego to where they can press their standards onto a man. The only downfall is a lot of these girls are looking like they're from the streets, acting like they're from the streets, and they still have standards from a bloated ego from creepy men online giving them the, the attention that they desire. Real men at some point, can see through the shame of a woman and eventually that woman would be alone. No man will want her at all unless she's a 12 o'clock chick, the type of girl that you're just going to go over clap cheeks and you're going to leave. When it's all said and done, the same type of guys that women overlook on their way up, they usually end up with that guy on their way down. Now, let's get to the next video. Now, the next video, next video is going to be a woman confronting her husband with the side chick. Let's get to it. Honey, hold his, hold his hand. Why don't you hold my husband's hand? Go for it. Go for it. You knew he was married, right? Hold his hand. Go ride in my car. Go ahead. Women have to expect that most guys that are real men are going to have multiple women now. Why? Because the real men think totally different from the simps. The simps and the creepy men is too many of those guys. These are the type of guys that women get annoyed with. But when it comes to real men, women are willing to share a real man. And you have less real men than you do fake men in the world. So you're going to have a lot more men with a lot of more women because women are going to start attaching to these men. You have to stop and look at a lion's pride. Only the dominant male lion is going to end up with all the lioness. Every male lion will not have lioness. It works the same way in the world. Why aren't you holding his hand? Hold his hand. I'm ready. I'm going to have a with you. I'm ready. You got the whole family with you now. The family. And you left your family for it. We're with you. This is why you can't be with your family? I thought you would have done better. I thought she would have at least looked cute or something. I say it can feel bad for a woman to catch her husband with another woman. But before a man actually leaves his wife or his woman, she has to stop and look at what was happening in the relationship. Sometimes people get tired of the depression. They get tired of the arguments. They get tired of the fights, especially when they have options. The least options that you have, the more you have to stop and deal with it. That's the world we live in. All of this, we should just have traditional values and traditional families and you should just stay together no matter what. We're not living in those times no more. We're living in a digital world where the, if the options are there for you, you should be able to take advantage of them. That's exactly what people are doing when it comes to relationships. No one wants to go through the torture anymore. Can you imagine that walk, just walking down the emotional swings that are going on? I can tell you this, the side chick is not going to care. When a woman accepts the fact that she is a side chick, for some reason they live with it because they don't want to be lonely and they feel like they have a masculine man and that they're not going to be able to find another one. That's the thing. There's way more women on the planet than there is men. Men just need to start understanding that and stop acting like there's more men than women. You hear that? No, I'm going in the car with you. Yeah. What do you yeah. I'm going in the car with you. What do you I want? You, I went we to the gone, gone. Gone. What No, you because that's the fuck fuck part. Say what you need to say. Hey, come here. Hey, sure. Show me where his wife's car. 
told me that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What? I'll buy with my freaking of money. Of course. Of course. I wonder what. That's what you've been sending money to? She brought the kids out too. See, but that's a Latino family. When you start having kids and things, this will become a big deal. <laughs> Moral of the story here on this video is that we're living in a world where people want to feel free and they want to feel good. No one wants to suffer from depression, nor do people want to be around someone that's making them depressed. We're living in a very, very, very moody world and the world is trying to find a happy feeling instead of a depressed feeling. Every time you come on the internet, there's so much depression going on. There's so much arguments going on. Most of it relationship problems or crime problems that's happening and the world is addicted to trying to find a perfect world. There would never be a perfect relationship and it would never be a perfect world, but yet we're walking around hoping that the world treat us a way that never existed. The world has never been perfect. In modern day, you must find out exactly what you want to do with life and you must chase that. Trying to chase love and trying to chase romance, typically it's gonna send you down a lonely road of depression. Why? Because people are selfish and it'll be impossible to make anyone satisfied. Hopefully you got the message in the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.